Hello. In this video, we'll look at a few methods to solve for polynomial roots with MathCat Prime. MathCat offers several ways to do this, symbolically or numerically. In this video, we'll focus on solving for roots numerically. We'll start by reviewing the root and polyroots built-in functions, and then show a few examples of real and complex polynomials. So let's start by seeing how you can use the root function to extract the roots one at a time. The root function requires either two or four arguments, depending on whether you want to provide a guess value or bracket values for the root. Here, we can see that one of the roots of the polynomials is very close to negative one. So let's use that as our guess value. We can now apply the root function as follows. And we can see that the solution that is closest to our guess value is negative 1.543. To use the bracket values, we can enter the root function arguments in the following form. The root function finds that between 7 and 10, there's another root at 9.409. When we're dealing with polynomials of higher degrees, it's usually more convenient to find all the roots at once. And you can do this using the polyroots function. The input to polyroots is a vector of real or complex numbers containing the coefficients of a polynomial. The coefficients are listed from the lowest degree to the highest, including all coefficients with a zero value. For example, the function p of x is a polynomial of the fifth degree. We can manually enter the coefficients in a vector, but it's easier to use the symbolic coefs keyword to extract the coefficient values. Let's use variable v and apply symbolic coefs on function p of x. The function has six coefficients. Now we can apply polyroots on vector v. The result is a vector of five real and complex roots. We can plot the function to visualize the solution. Polyroots accepts vectors of up to 99 coefficients. For polynomials of higher degrees, try factoring the polynomial symbolically to find the lower degree factors. Polyroots can also find the roots of complex polynomials. For example, the vector CV lists the coefficients of a fifth degree polynomial with a complex term, 2i. The complex vector roots, or CV roots, contains the complex roots of the polynomial. In this case, the results are not exactly zero because the elements of CV roots are only approximation to the roots. This illustrates the limitations of computational accuracy when calculating roots numerically. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more MathCAD videos.